So. Melissa Aitken is ensuring no Southlander goes hungry or lonely on Christmas Day. She has been volunteering at Invercargill's Christmas Day lunch for the past three years, and in hearing the event might be cancelled this year, quickly jumped in as chief organiser. It would never be cancelled with me on the scene. So it was always going to run. I was always going to be volunteering, of course, um, with my children. We, we love it. When I found out uh, it was not going to be running, well, there was no question. I just texted him immediately, and uh, that's when he called me back on the Sunday and said, and I was very grateful that I was taking it over. Aitken has spent the past four days collecting the first of the donations of food while her phone rings off the hook. Rather than giving out 100 personal invitations, as has been done in previous years, Aitken says the event will be open to anyone and that she is expecting up to 400 guests. Mine's an open barbecue uh, for those in need, and people are pretty honest, and if they can't afford a lot, a lot for Christmas as far as food-wise, we want them to come. If they're on their own, we want them to come. Uh, if they've you know, got no family, if they're just new to Invercargill, don't know anybody, please come along. She said she is amazed at how the Southland community rallies for such events and has already reached the capacity of volunteers. Now the best way for the public to help out is to donate food. We're asking for as much bread and meat and desserts and salads as we can. We have a lot of ice cream containers that will be donated, donated sorry, and a lot of other kind of uh, tin foils and stuff because the key is to have over, over what you need, and then we can send people home with bags of food like we do at all my other events and the other Christmas Day lunches of the Mayors. The lunch will be held at Fernworth School at 3pm on Christmas Day. Anyone looking to help Aitken or donate towards the event should email melissa at melissafitness.co.nz. Sharon Reese, The South Today.